kids! Welcome back to another Bible True Story. And today our story is about words from a burning bush. So today we're going to continue the story of Moses when he's all grown up. And uh, our story is based on Exodus chapter 3 verses 15. It says, This is my name forever the name by which I am to be remembered. Moses grew up in an Egyptian palace, but he knew he was an Israel by birth. One day, he went out to see how his people were being treated. He saw an Egyptian beating an Israelite worker. Moses had pity on the worker and tried to stop the beating. In anger, Moses killed the slave master and hid his body in the sand. In time, Pharaoh found out what Moses had done. He declared that Moses must die. So Moses fled to the land of Midian. One day, while Moses was leading his sheep to Horeb, also called the Mountain of God, an angel appeared from within a burning bush. Moses thought it was very strange that this bush, though on fire, did not burn up. Then God spoke to Moses from within the burning bush. Moses, Moses, he said. Here I am, Moses answered. Do not come any closer. Take off your sandals, for the place you're standing is holy ground. I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. When Moses heard this, he was afraid to look at God, so he hid his face. I have heard the cries and prayers of my people in Egypt, so go now. I am sending you to Pharaoh to free my people and lead them out of Egypt into a good land, a land flowing with milk and honey. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should lead the Israelites out of Egypt? God answered, I will be with you. Who shall I tell them sent me? Moses asked. God answered, I am that I am. Tell them I am sent you. Moses asked, What if they do not believe me? What if they will not listen? Then God commanded Moses to throw down his staff. Moses obeyed and suddenly the staff became a snake. As Moses took hold of the snake, it turned back into his staff. Then the Lord spoke to Moses again. If they do not believe you, take some water from the Nile River and pour it on the ground. It will become blood. But Moses did not want to go and spoke again. Oh Lord, I don't speak very well and my speech is low. Please send someone else. This angered God and he said, Your brother Aaron speaks very well. He will go with you. Tell him what to say, and he will say it. So Moses and his brother Aaron left for Egypt. Our Bible truth for today, kids, is I will go where God sends me. Again, everybody say, I will go where God sends me. 